Today, the LEGO Star Wars TIE Bomber has been officially leaked. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Suds, here with our first look at the LEGO Star Wars 2023 TIE Bomber with four minifigures retailing for $65 potentially 70. We have a great look at this thing, but before we go any further, I want you all to hit that subscribe button. And we also uploaded another video on this channel where we do, did a deep dive into the new Tuscan Raider Slave One and 501st Battle Pack. So if you want to see what those look like, check out that video after this one, because we have so much to dive into. And if you've seen that already, again, hit that notification bell because there's a very solid shot. I will be reviewing these sets before they come out. I have talked to the guy who leaked them. He might be selling them to me. It's very exciting prospects. It will be all on this channel, so stay tuned. With that said, let's take a look at some of the pictures of this set. 75347. Uh, here we have a look at all of them real quick. Uh, you have uh, the Slave 1, and also this is... Uh, I believe the planet of Banaxis, that is the planet this is supposed to be. I thought it was Naboo, so I was slightly wrong there. Uh, but here's the big boy, uh, and this is the Thai Bomber. First up, minifigures. We have a look at him. We have a Gonk Droid, who looks to have some sort of Im special Imperial logo on the side of him. That's just from looking at this from the very blurred instruction manual perspective. We're also getting a Thai Pilot, as well as Darth Vader. And finally, we are getting Grand Admiral, or I guess not yet Grand Admiral, Ray Sloan. Uh, now, whether this is based off of Empire Strikes Back or not, I do not know. Uh, but, but the figure, Ray Sloan, is a uh, non-canon character. It could, for all we know, be based off of the Star Wars Squadrons games. However, from the look of the background, it looks kind of like uh, one of the asteroids in Episode Five, which is why I was kind of drawn to that conclusion. Either way... Let's take a look at this glorious, glorious set. It is beautiful looking, considering the last one we got came out over 20 years ago by the time this, uh, you know, thing comes out. It's great. So let, let's get started. First up in the dead center, we do have two of the new spring-loaded stud shooters or whatever. Uh, one of them is shooting out. That's coming directly out of the center. You also do have the right canister, which is likely the feature which will drop the bombs. Uh, and that's also very cool. That, that's a really neat prospect. I'm excited to see that. And again, I'm leaning towards the set also being $65, just because $70 seems a bit too much for this. The pricing does seem pretty dead on accurate, though. I, I think it's a little pricey, but you, you, you can't ask for too much in this economy. The, the cockpit looks fantastic with the beautiful rounding on each side. I think it's a great looking model. The details look superb. And overall, that is fantastic. Now, we also do have some other news I would like to briefly touch up. We have a look at the file first instruction manual. Yes. Uh, so with it, we have a look at how, how they a better look at the antenna. It does look to be one color. Uh, and here it is basically the apl application. There has been this weird thing going around where people are talking about the 501st minifigure, like the antenna on the commander, like being lower down. A lot of people think that's a render error. I tend to agree. I think it's a render error, but it still looks cool nonetheless. And here is a look, better look, high, more high definition, clear look at them in the instruction manual. The only disappointing news really to come out of this is that we are only confirmed and now be getting three official sets come January. This, of course, excludes the Brickheads Tuscan, which honestly is not much to write home about. This set is still a little disappointing, and I'll talk about why. I do have a big whatnot auction coming soon. We are going to be selling loads of stuff. You guys need to sign up for it, and we're having that December 10th, so I strongly recommend you sign up. I'm so pumped. That's Saturday night. We're going to be in the spotlight giving away loads of stuff. So if you like LEGO Star Wars for free, then sign up. And if you want really cheap deals on LEGO, sign up for the auction today. It is happening. Just set up. They give you a free $15 on your first purchase. So strongly recommend you hit that. So thank you for listening to that real quick. January waves used to be really, really big. They used to drop like at least eight sets in January. You get your two battle packs, everything like that. The disappointing fa first fact is really that we aren't getting two battle packs. They should be bringing that back at once. They should be doing that. I really don't know why they're not. We need to see some of that. We are getting sets we already know in March and in future dates, but it is a really, in my opinion, disappointing list. What we have left to look forward to in regards to everything else, 
We have a Mandalorian set that's going to be dropping sometime. We just got confirmation. It is first airing its first episode in the beginning of March. So, hey, that, that's at least something. Uh, and we're getting two of those Mando sets. We're also getting a, a, some sort of May 4th promo, as well as the Captain Rex and Cody helmets, which are likely to come sometime in May or the end of April. And then we have the diorama sets. Uh, and we will almost certainly have all the information on summer sets come January 23. So again, stay tuned on this channel for that. And again, thank you all for the support on the last video. And that is about all the news. I am going to go to bed because this is a ton of news to digest in one day. Uh, and we have some big videos coming up on the uh, main channel. So with that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Peace out and stay awesome. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe you guys were just about to click off this video without liking it. What's the deal? Why why do you do that? Don't don't do that. C click that like button. I'm still waiting. Okay, you can go now.